Hi, I'm Nathan, and I'm going to run you through a bit of the rigging that I've been doing. I've kept it pretty simple, so there's, you know, just very few objects to deal with. His head drags behind the rest of him as he walks. I have the upper body and the lower body actually separate, so you just drag them around. And there's a nice bit of squash and stretch, and you can rotate it and, you know, all sorts of crazy fun stuff like this. So then we also have the hand rig that I've been working on. Uh, this is similar to Bassam's finger rig, uh, but I've made a few improvements. So, you, the way that you operate it is you grab a finger bone and you scale it, and that will make the, the finger bend. Uh, but it only does this joint and this joint. It doesn't do the base joint, only the middle joint and the tip joint. So, if we scale this, you'll see how that works. Take this bone, I can just scale it, and it makes the, the finger bend in. Uh, one of the improvements I've made is that if you scale it out, it will bend backwards, which was something that uh, Bassam's didn't. And I also have this little bone here, which is important. It's very important. It's something that a lot of people leave out of the rigs, but you need to be able to curl the hand. When you have your hand and you like, make a fist, like the, the knuckles actually curl over, and that's different than when it's flat. Like You actually have curl in your, your hand as well. Uh, so this bone does that. You just, you know, Rotate that and makes the hand curl. And it looks more convincing, uh, clenched up like that with the, the curl bone. So I also have knee targets. So you can point the knee in whatever direction you want to, like so. So the knee will always point at this target. So regardless of where you position the leg, uh, the knee will always always follow this. So I wrote a, a Pi constraint, which is a constraint that you've, you know, you write in Python. Uh, you know, you get to type little things up and do all sorts of crazy math, and you can make cool things happen. Uh, so what I did for this is I've, I've made a single bone that by rotating just one bone, it rolls the foot. So you roll this. I have it set up so that you can also independently, you know, move this if you want to. Uh, and then we'll do stuff like that. <laughs> And you have the overall foot control, which is for, you know, moving around like this, you know. I have a few facial keys here, so just have controllers that you, uh, you know, use to pose the face and just drag them down. And can, but more or less, that's, that's the rig.